So to make sure that you have a compatible version of Python with the SunFounder Python code, you're going to want to go to python.org downloads and download Python, whatever the Python 2 dot version is, and install that. Okay, the URL here is https colon slash slash github.com slash sunfounder. And we see here the smart video car kit for Raspberry Pi. We're going to come in here and you can see here is where our Python client code is. <coughs> this actually contains everything for the car as well as the, the PC. We're going to go over here to clone or download, and we're going to download the zip. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract it right into downloads. Extract all. Okay, and here it is. Now, um, this assumes that you have already downloaded Python uh, uh, for your laptop or computer. Uh, so, Python needs to be there. Now that Python 2 is installed, I'm going to go down here to type in idle. You can see I have a idle 3.4, so that's running version 3 of Python. We want version 2 of Python, so we're going to pick this idle. And you can see it's running Python 2.7.13 in this case. Find the Sun Founder stuff. <coughs> Open the client and Cali Client .py. Make big, and you can see that I have. can see that I have already edited the host IP address and set it to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and then run module and here we go here is the car calibration window So this is the monitor window on the Raspberry Pi and you can now see that the server has a connection to the calibration program that is running on the laptop. Also you can see the cameras pointing straight up and uh, they said that that would happen as well. So now we're going to try running the calibration routine. Here is the calibration window. And here is the shell debug window. You can see I've clicked on a few runs and stops here already. So I'm going to click on run. We can see both rear wheels are turning. Unfortunately they are not going forward, they are going in reverse. So what SunFounder recommends we do is that we don't have to rewire. We just have to tell the system that we want them reversed. So I clicked on left reverse and right reverse. And so in the software it changed the software uh, to make it go in the correct direction. So I'm going to click on run again and that will stop. And so now the rear wheels are calibrated. 
Next calibration routine is to verify that the front wheels are pointing in a forward direction. And you can see here that it looks like it's pretty well aligned. Um, if yours isn't, then we can do fine tuning on the on the front uh, steering. So if you need to tweak it a little bit this way, that's coarse. That's coarse. <clears throat> you can see they look pretty darn good. Uh, what Sun Founder recommends is that you put the car on the ground and um, drive it forward and then you might even be able to make some more uh, correction to make sure that you can drive it in a straight line. But as you can see right now, this thing's uh, not got too many cables hanging off from it so to put it on the ground. Um, and uh, so let's get through some of this uh, calibration routine and then um, I will show you how to disconnect the cables and have the car boot and run the server automatically uh, when the power comes on. So <coughs> the next part of this is to calibrate the pan and tilt. Um, they say that the pan should be pointing straight forward and that the tilt the camera should be pointing straight uh, upwards. So we can see the camera is pointing straight upwards, that's pretty good, but the pan is not pointing forwards. So once the car is on the ground, we're going to click confirm. And now what's happened is <coughs> it's not responding um, and that's because if you come over here to the Raspberry Pi the, you can see the calibration program actually ended uh, after setting its calibration constants so that's why our uh, calibration client here stopped responding because it can't find the server so I'm just going to red X out of that, close it. <clears throat>